We do everything. We do everything. We yeah. draw, we make the sculptures, we paint together, uh, we direct together. So we don't have separate roles in our methodology. We met like 20 years ago in, in university. I proposed him uh, to collaborate. We were not friends, we knew each other. We had a very good chemistry working together. Uh, so the two of us kept working until today. We don't feel that we are like compromising ideas. You know, like if I am disconnected of one day, Cristóbal came with a good idea and I can add something and you know, like everything starts to grow in between us. For me, it's, it's, the, it's a mind, I mean, it's a, it's a dream. So that, that's claustrophobic and paranoid feeling reinforces this idea of like being in a head. The main character, a female actually, trying to escape and the film is forcing the character to stay and to don't, don't escape. So Miguel Serrano was a, a writer from Chile um, who lived in, mainly in the 20th century. He was a Nazi and he was the main figure of this movement called Esoteric Hitlerism. So he saw Hitler as a incarnation of a god and he was also a diplomat. So he was a political, an active political figure. He also is like a, a lost key on the history of Chile because there is a way of being nationalist that he was part of it, that it disappeared with Pinochet, with the last dictatorship that we had. Fascism is really present in, in our fictions. You know, like racism uh, is really present in, in South America, in Latin America in general, much more than we think, much more than we talk about. And, and I think for me, it's important to talk about this. Chile during Second World War was not, it was neutral until the end of the war. Like everyone, of course, was anti that. But Miguel Serrano did this weirdest thing that he kept being Nazi until the year 2008, which I think is bad, but is interesting. 